Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Anti Tarot. Today we're doing your love reading for September 2021. These cards are out here because they fell out doing the pre-shuffle and it seems significant so I thought I'll leave, leave them here and share them with you guys before I put it back in the deck and um, reshuffle. So first we have the world. So an ending or completion of some sort. So an ending of a, um, a toxic uh, binding relationship or situation. Because we have the world and we have the devil. So an ending to, um, to a toxic or karmic relationship. And you're using your skills, your ability all your efforts your energy to create and manifest look at her so you're you're it's like good riddance you're getting it's like it took you all the strength all your energy all your effort everything you had to wield this um you know to muster up to to have this happen perhaps they were trying to hold on and you are definitely walking away walking away from something that no longer satisfy you or fulfill you and you guys may have been dealing with an air sign I mean I'm sorry not an air sign a um uh, another well actually this represents you guys because the queen of wands so this is you guys so you guys are walking away there's this black cat so walking away from some dark negative energy um, there may be another fire sign involved, so so another Sagittarius and Aries, um, or a Leo. But I feel since you guys are fire and this is Queen of Wands, so th I feel this symbolizes you guys walking away, meaning it's your reading. And then we have Death, another ending card. So look at this: we have the World, we have Death, and we have Eight of Cups. Out of six cards, three of the cards, half of the cards are about walking away, ending, ending. But it may be a good thing. I mean, it may not feel like it, but I get, I get a sense it was toxic. It wasn't good. It was very negative with that devil card. So it may be better. I'm hearing good written. Maybe for your and your highest good. To have ended it anyway or if it ended whoever ended it and look you guys as i say that look the same freaking card you guys saw me shuffle the same freaking card came back out again so that's spirit confirming there's a death there's a transformation and ending and look right the next card at where it split ace of cups so new beginning Full of love, life, beauty, abundance, full of emotion, sun, happy, brightness. Yeah, so ending that darkness. Yep, and here we have another ending card, Ten of Swords. They may have stabbed you in the back, or you're just turning your back and walking away, kind of like that Eight of Cups. So death, ending, another ending. So Okay, so there was some something that happened behind your back, perhaps some... Some cheating, some deception, some stealing, something negative, something uh, untruthful, you know, not not honest. And here you guys again, that came back out. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. And then we have Two of Cups. So new connection coming. Oh, Two of Cups followed by the star. So you're going to have a new connection or this next next connection that's coming in. It's going to it's your wish fulfillment is going to be a better relationship with you. Someone that's more more of your heart's desire, more of what you're you're looking for in relationship because the other one with the 8 of cups you walked away. It wasn't fulfilling you. Look. Remember I said you were manifesting with the magician? You use all your might. Yeah. So you're going within. You're manifesting. You're manifesting and you're visualizing, bringing it in, materializing it from the etheric realm, bringing it down. So now that relationship showed you what you didn't want. And now you're creating and manifesting what you do want. And that's that's why you're able to bring or attract or, or bring into you, draw into you this new connection. That's the star. That's your wish fulfillment. And maybe in Aquarius also because that's the star. Yeah, six of one. You're going to become victorious. 
and you may be recognized for your achievement or you may recognize yourself for your achievement and there is there will be justice for you guys for what you went through you're taking charge and look you had a wake-up call judgment so you have the the justice card and the judgment card six of cups yep connection coming in and king of cup love offer coming in and the eight of cups so new love offer after you walk away from that All right because you you you're creating space for something new to come in and here the magician came out again yep so it may be a water sign that may be coming in a, a cancer a pisces or a scorpio to give to offer you to offer you that cup it's amazing how all the readings are very similar ending and look next card on top is nine of cups so your heart's desire your wish fulfillment is coming in you have the star and the nine of cups two wish card coming in this is a beautiful reading beautiful reading yeah stable stable family I don't think there's anything else to be said. Any more final messages? I mean, pretty clear-cut reading, Sagittarius. Oh, what is this? Five of coins. You may have felt left out in the cold or, or worry about fi finances. But I'm hearing, don't be. See, so you guys are really meditating, going within, doing some healing. Yeah. You may have been conflicted or indecisive, but you're ready for this new beginning, new creative, passionate beginning. There may be an air sign involved as well, Queen of Swords, so a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. I want to clarify the the Five of uh, Five of Pentacles, Five of Coins, Spirit guys. Wow. So there may have been some cheating going on. And remember I picked that up, deception behind your back. So so that's why you felt left out in the cold. Perhaps you found out there was a third party situation, another person. We have new beginnings. Ace of Wands twice. Ace of Wands, yeah. Ace of Wands twice. So new, new passionate beginning coming in for you guys. Here's this, this Gemini. I mean, I don't know why I said Gemini. This air sign person. Maybe it is a Gemini. It's all about money. Because you felt you may have invested a lot of time and money, energy into it. That's why you felt left out in the cold. It has to do with money. But spirit. What is the final outcome in regards to money for Sagittarius? You'll be fine. You'll be message coming in. You'll be celebrating. You'll be happy. I feel you guys will be fine. Yeah, be strong. Strength. We have strength. Let's do some more from this deck. I know outcome for Sagittarius. Yeah, here's another money card. Nope. Nine of pen You'll be independent, free, abundance, and stable. I, I felt that. I had that feeling anyway, but I wanted to confirm for you guys. Yep, you'll be fine. If you are concerned... But I feel maybe you guys felt left out in the cold because of the cheating or the, um, the lies, manipulation, the backstabbing. So that or may not have necessarily be financial worries. But if you are worried financially, you'll be fine. This may just be feeling left out in the cold because of the betrayal. All right. So let's. Um, but everything's going to be fine. You're, you're manifesting this new new start, new love, and you'll be you'll be fine. 
happiness coming in for you guys. Yeah, you, it gave you a wake-up call. A lot of people are going through a wake-up. I guess it's that time in our lives and our work. Yeah, surrender the idea you can fix someone. So that's what spirit trying to tell you. Perhaps you 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 forgive them, forgive them, thinking you can help them, you can fix them, you can heal them. So spirit saying, surrender that. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Surrender your belief in scarcity. So this may have to do with finances. With that five of pentacles, the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dream. Yeah, so you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Surrender to joy. All right. You deserve happiness. Surrender your attachment to results. Just let it go. And know good things are coming. And surrender to the magic of who you are. Okay, trust yourself, trust your decision, and trust your guides. All right, Sagittarius, I am going to leave it there. I think you will be fine. And you have this new connection coming in with your star, your wish fulfillment, and your nine of cups. You know, so surrender to joy. You deserve some happiness. Allow yourself to be happy. All right, Sagittarius, I hope that resonated and it was useful and helpful. Let me know in the comments if it did. Thanks for watching. Love and light to you. And I will catch you again in the next video. Bye.